What are we doing today? Can you remember what's yeah. today's job? Yeah. What's today's job? I didn't. Well, we've got this in the food bag. Do you want to see? Yeah. Can I have the camera? <laughs> right, so in the boot today, we've got look, a whole new exhaust. And that's got to go underneath the car. No, don't start getting tools out just yet. What's that? Hmm? That's a spanner. Oh, mm -mm -mm. What's this one, Daddy? Huh? Okay, you go to the back of the car with that then. Right. So we have got a new centre section. Comes complete with all the gaskets and new rubber mounts. So I think the first thing to do is get the car up in the air. I need to, God. underneath here, hopefully I can show you. There is that bracket there. Oh, nice, dandelion. Um, yeah, so there's that bracket there, which joins the centre section. You can, mate, yeah onto the back box so that rust on that is no doubt going to cause us a problem so we'll get that bit off first get some WD-40 on it and just make sure we can disconnect it there and then it should just be two hangers I believe underneath and it also looks like the under tray the actual heat shield there has come loose so we'll probably have to put a bigger washer on that and bolt that up and I think the first thing to do is to get it up in the air and it is starting to rain again. Why does it always have to rain? <sighs> that my main delay trying to get stuff on this car done is rain related. So we've got axle stand there, axle stand there and the jack. So it's relatively safe. If you look there, the heat shield, I think has completely come loose. Yeah. I think it's just bent in there. Wait, no, it's just got my weed. Well, probably see better than me. So I'm contending with lying in weeds. My next door neighbour really needs to cut their grass. Right, let's have a look. So it looks like we've got two mounts at the front. This is proper mangled. This is. Let's have a look at what we've got. Rusted bolt. And then I think if I put another couple of, sorry, I'm doing this upside down, aren't I? If I put some washers, take the original nut out, put some washers on, I should be able to hold that back up in place. But how is that held up? Otherwise, it's two rubber gravics at the top up there. Get that back into there. Yeah, so there. Got a rubber mount there. And there'll be one the other side as well. So I wonder if I can reach that. No, I won't be able to reach that from the engine bay. But that's it. Other than that, it's this crusty old bolt here, which I've almost I hammered it with a hammer, funnily enough. So yeah, see if we can get this off. I'm gonna guess that's probably 13 mil. Let's go check. And that's, let's try that. Oh, jeez. That does not want to come out. There we go. Soaked. This exhaust system on this car has been an ultimate bloody nemesis of mine. 
from trying to get the cat off to now trying to get the centre section off. Right, it's had a bit of time to soak. Let's see if we can get off now. Oh yes. Really? Come on. Loose enough now. I might just leave my socket on there just so that when I can put the new one on. There we go. Yep, the socket's stuck on there now. Clamp looks loose. There's a shed load of rusty between it. So I think the join's pretty much bang on dead centre there. So we need to see if those two are now free. And they are. Yeah, this one's definitely moving. So let's see if I can show you that. So if I pull that. You can see that bit moves, but that stays the same. There we go. So now, get those two rubber um, supports off, and I've already greased those up with uh, WD-40 as well to make it easier. If uh, someone did say to me, fairy liquid is actually really good, but the WD-40 was out, the fairy liquid wasn't, so that's what got used. If I put you there, hopefully you can see what I'm doing. If not, I do apologise, but I can't get it and get at the same time. So, that's that one. Oh, camera fail. And then just the last one. I'll we'll have to I'm gonna grease that a bit more. The filming on this bit is absolutely terrible, so that's the last one to go, just there, that one's now off, so it's actually easier to twist that bit of the rubber off than it is to do the other, there we go, there she goes, now she's rested on that brace but we're not too fussed by that, oh I need a ramp, I miss not having a ramp, So now I'm going to pull the exhaust forwards and try and get it over that support. I can do that from the engine room actually. Let's do that. So, 
that front flexi was pretty much shot. I might have to take this bar off. I think it'll just make it easier. What's that? Probably another 15, another 15. Yeah, it's only two bolts, let's get that out. background noise obviously the sun's come out so now everybody's cutting the grass apart from that neighbour the um, sensor is soaking because these are like a nightmare to get out um, just gonna stick on the new uh, rubber mounts <laughs> I was like looking I was like, there's no hole there but actually I'm gonna put the other one on and just push it <sighs> he says this is easy because I had two hands there we go yeah straight on so they are ready to go back on and because I left them on the old one I know the orientation as in which way <clears throat> they have to go back onto the mount so that's nice and easy so we'll just wait for that to come out pop that into the new one and then we'll slide this in underneath interesting the new center section is a lot smaller than the original but I'm guessing the car is what was it 64 plate so it's 10 years old so they've probably advanced on what they need to do underneath them now so while that's happening I'm gonna have a look underneath the car and see if I can sort out that heat shield right so for the heat shield you've got these E12 I think they are yeah E12 bolts and the wash has just basically worked its way around and through the heat shield so I've got a couple of these large washers so I'll put that in like that and that'll just support it and there's one on each side let's do that now <laughs> looks like somebody might have tried the bigger washer trick before but not putting a big enough one on so I'm going up here Oh, 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 
and there we go that's the other one so got one there and one there there's already these clips in place so that is solid now that's not going to make any rattling noise let's see if we can get that lambda sensor out now okay so i couldn't get the lambda sensor out so what i decided to do is just cut off this end of the exhaust as you do because basically this isn't needed and i couldn't get any purchase on this without it kind of wobbling around and potentially smacking into my other car so i took it I, I just cut it off and i've sprayed down there this is an attempt to save 40 quid in buying a new one what i need to do is get some serious heat on this and i don't have a blowtorch well i've got a blowtorch but it's in my storage container and i know for a fact that it's empty um so i'd have to buy some gas and it's currently four o'clock on bank holiday monday and there's no way that i could run out now and go and get that so i think i'm going to stick it on the hob section of my barbecue and try and get it really really hot down here now this is it's fine to get this hot because it's designed to be um, on the exhaust system i've just got to be careful of the cable but what i've done is now i've got it upside down poured some penetrant down there and hopefully that'll also loosen the threads and give me a more chance of getting that off so let's go have a barbecue tonight on kitchen nightmares I'm just cooking my uh, exhaust on the barbecue. So he didn't work. So what I did is I cut into the side of it, put a screwdriver into the gap, wedged it apart, and there we go, it's out. It does have a little nick in the side of it, but that's hopefully 40 quid saved. Let's put it on the new exhaust. Cheers. This is definitely needed. Oh, it's taken me an hour to get that sensor out. I've got the exhaust just down there now, ready to go back in, but I need to muster up some uh, energy. And I am wearing a, a jumper because it goes from raining to be boiling hot. It can't make his mind up, so, right, let's get the rest done. So that bracket's on and done. Need to tighten up the rear bracket down there and put that brace back across. Oh god, I've got easy with one person and no grab. Before I put the brace bar back across here, I need to plug that sensor in and on the back of the engine, somewhere around here, yeah there's the connector, so which side's got the prong on it, let's have a look, I think, hopefully you can see this, sorry if you can't, I can't see the screen on the camera, that should yeah that's now in so all connected and then i'll put this metal bracket back on Thank <laughs> you. 
there we go one bar back in I've left the end of this all protected because the next step is to sort out the cat but we need to get that welded so that's probably going to be in the episode next week so I just suddenly realized I thought I'd best add some context as to why we're not putting the cat straight back in now I have fitted three brand new studs to this engine block because they were missing um i don't know if you can see this i'll try and angle the camera but when we had to remove that kind of safety device and ryan had to angle grind it off as you can see he slipped a little bit and even though i didn't think it had gone all the way through i don't know if you can see i want to get the angle i don't know if you'll be able to see that but actually there is a slit in there as well it's just gone through very slightly so there's two things we've got left to do on this one he's going to bring his welder clean all this up and put a patch over that and then the other thing is we need to get the old studs out so these they are actually pressed in so what i've been doing is saturating this in wd-40 with the aim that i'm going to knock all three of these out completely and then I'm just going to replace it with a standard bolt. I might have to put a slightly heavier washer just to raise it because I don't think the nut will sit in there. But I'm going to replace it with just three standard bolts with nuts, stainless steel. Just because that's the quicker way of doing it rather than trying to take the whole thing apart and put new ones of these in. And yeah, these are about 160 quid if you have to buy them second hand. So I'm not letting go of this one. Thought I'd just explain that. Hope that makes sense. So last task for the end of the day got some coolant delivered and i've never used this one before but looking at the reviews it seems very very good and i thought jenny chem only made cleaning products but it would appear they make antifreeze and coolant well antifreeze coolant too so i'm going to do got water in the system I think I put about two litres in in the end. So, let's top it up a bit. Now that that's fully drained down. without spilling it. Oh, look at that. I've left the bleed screw out the top of the radiator down here, so I can hear the air coming out. Right, I'll leave that let that drain down and then when we get the exhaust fitted or the rest of the exhaust fitted in the next episode we can run it up to temperature so i was just putting together all the video footage today to start doing the editing and realized i haven't actually recorded the outro so here it is uh, katie's actually watching a movie so i don't want to interrupt that and try and do the video in the house i just jumped into the bmw to do that if you have liked today's video, please remember to hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And please share on your social media with friends, family, anyone else who you might think would be interested. And we'll try and grow this channel as uh, you know as quickly as we possibly can. We're almost at a thousand now. I think we've got about sort of 25 subscription uh, so people to subscribe. And we'll hit that thousand mark and that would be fantastic for me. I, I see that as a nice milestone to, to kind of get to. Um, and yeah, hope everyone's having a great uh, bank holiday weekend. And I'll catch you in the next one.